Hey, everybody. Dave Archer, Atlanta Falcon Radio Network here. This has been fun. We've been breaking down some of the positions that could impact the Falcons in the draft, and this one's not going to be any different. Certainly, we know the Falcons are looking to put pressure on the quarterback, and a lot of that comes from your edge rushers. Atlanta has hit and missed a few times on edge rushers. We're hoping Dante Fowler is going to take that next step this year and become that presence off the edge. But where else do you get pressure? Well, a lot of times you have to go out and get another guy in the draft. There's some guys in the draft that could potentially fall to the Falcons somewhere along the line. Should the Falcons trade? Should they stay in place? Do they pick a guy up at the top of the second round? These guys are all going to be play in that category. Let's get started. Jalen Phillips, six foot five, 266 pounder out of Miami, I think is the best guy. I think he has the best upside of a guy out there. Tremendous power. He's got great hand slap, uses his hands extremely well. He's tough to slow down when he gets it going. Ran four, five, seven at 265 pounds. That's unbelievable. Had a 30 sitch in vertical too. When you talk about being able to elevate bat balls down at the line of scrimmage, should you see the quick game come up, Jalen Phillips is all of that. He easily transitions inside, too. When you talk about versatility, we see a lot of times where we put a NASCAR package on the field, meaning pass rushers at every position. This guy can easily transition to the inside and rush the passer from there. Now, he does have some injury red flags. Had a concussion. Actually, was going to retire from football when he was at UCLA with a concussion. He decided to transfer, went to Miami, uh, and he, he had an excellent season, and he's done an excellent job since then. So the the the, the injury thing is kind of in the past him, but it's still going to run a red flag for people to look at. Has to do some change up in his pass rushes, but that'll come with develop. Jalen Phillips, 6'5", 266 out of Miami. How about Quiddy Pay, 6'4", 272 pounder out of Michigan. This is a kid that uh, really has improved is the length of the time he's been at Michigan. He's a big, thick dude. So he has the ability to set the edge in the run game. I think maybe more than Phillips does, but this kid has uh, some thickness and toughness to him. When he gets his power going, really tough to kind of slow him down. Now, the problem is, is there's some limited uh, development, if you will, in his pass rush abilities. So that's something that's going to have to come on. He showed a, a good bit of durability in his college career at Michigan. Um, he's, a, he's a developing player. And again, that's I'm not sure that's music to the ears of Falcon fans. They want somebody that's going to come in and plug in right away. But Quiddy Pay is a guy that's looking to go somewhere in the first round, maybe early second round, the big kid out of Michigan. 36 reps, by the way, at 225. That tells you how big and tough he is. He ran 4.52 in the 40 as well. So good straight on speed. Uh, let's take a look at Jason Oway. Jason Oway is a kid from Penn State, 6'5", 253. He's a sophomore now. Not a lot of experience. Uh, when you talk about speed, excellent speed, this kid ran 4'39 at 253 pounds at the Pro Day. He also showed good strength at 21 reps, 225, so he shows some strength there. But he's got tremendous get-off and speed. When you talk about guys that get off the ball quickly, this kid might be the head of the class when it comes to jumping the snap and getting up the field. He's tough to slow down when he gets it rolling. He does a good job of transitioning in different pass rush moves. But when you start talking about red flags, and we always try to throw a couple of those up, his agility and his, his dexterity, the athleticism, doesn't really match the speed. Now, limited amount of tape, just a sophomore, so you kind of wonder, okay, is there some development there? You kind of think there is in Jason Oway, the big kid from Penn State. Gregory Rousseau, 6'7", 265 out of Miami, another sophomore. He opted out last year. This is a kid that had 15 and a half sacks in 2019 and just kind of burst on the scene. When you look at the body type, you say, wow, who is that guy when he gets off the bus? 6'7", at 265 pounds. He has, he has very fluid movement. He's solid with leveraging on the outside. When you're that tall, sometimes your pad level gets a little bit high. That's one of the things he's got to worry with. His power, he's got to get his body down, and sometimes that power goes away because the pad level gets up. All right, Joe Tryon, 6'5", 265-pounder out of Washington. This is a kid that opted out, but he's a senior, played a lot of football. He's a relentless guy. This guy's growing in excitement around him after his pro day, ran 4'6", 4", at 265 pounds, had a 35-inch vertical. 
Uh, he doesn't have a lot of counter moves in his pass rush game, but I like the way he's a solid defender on the edge and he's relentless. This guy, you talk about motors of the guys I've mentioned, this might be the top motor of the players we've talked about. So there's a couple of the edge rushers that I think are going to potentially come into play for the Falcons late first round, early second round, maybe even down a little bit later in that second round. Watch for some of these guys. May have a Falcon helmet on come 2021.